discuss the conditions for equilibrium for 3D4 system. We will divide our discussion in two parts. One is concurrent and one is non-concurrent. Here, F1 bar, F2 bar, F3 passing through single point. So this system can be replaced by another system which has single resultant R bar and R bar equals to what? F1 bar plus F2 bar plus F3 bar plus F4 bar. This, are, this type of problem we have done in the beginning. First few problems. And if your R bar itself is equal to 0, then is the net force acting on the system along X, Y, Z is 0. And if there is no force acting on the system, will the body will be in a static condition. If you have any body and no force act on the body, will the body will translate or will never translate? Will never translate. To move this body, to change the position, we require some external force. The no external force will be in static condition. So this term of R bar equal to zero automatically means that sum of all forces must equal to zero. So only necessary condition for equilibrium for concurrent system is sigma f bar equal to zero. Now what is the difference between concurrent and non-concurrent? In the case of non-concurrent force system, we have the same forces but they are passing at different line of action. So maybe some forces is going this way, some are going this way. Now are they intersecting at more than one time? So if they intersect more than one time, the system is called a non-concurrent. So non-concurrent system has two, one is transfer and one is rotation. So what we should do, we should make f equal to what? Zero. And we should make m equals to what? Zero. So only two conditions. f equal to zero and m equal to zero. Then is this body will neither rotate, neither transfer. And F equal to 0 means body will not translate. Concurrent system will translate, non-current current will try to translate and rotate. So write down this. Too many conditions of equilibrium for concurrent? Only one. And how many conditions for non-concurrent is 2. That is sigma F0 and sigma moment. Zero. What is basically sigma F bar? Is basically equals to what? Summation of Fxi plus summation of f y j plus summation of f z k and 0 i can write as 0 i plus 0 j plus 0 k so how many controlling equation i can form three equation one is f x equal to 0 f y equal to 0 and f z equal to 0 so effectively, I can form three equations and therefore, I am able to find out three unknowns from concurrent system, maximum three unknowns. Since I can form on this side, three for f, which is I called as sigma fx0, same as concurrent system, sigma fy0, sigma fz0 and similar to this for moment, summation of mx0. summation of m y 0 and summation of m z 0. It means that I can handle 6 unknown. Any unknown force is always given by is always given in the form of m bar equals to is m multiplied by a b bar. So this one is m as force multiplier. Force multiplier and unit of this force multiplier is what Newton per meter this one is Newton per meter ok let me write FM otherwise you will get confused this one is Newton per meter this one is meter is meter meter is cancel and your force is always in Newton so next time I will not write F next time I will write M only. Okay. So I will just make this very simple. If I have one force like this, I will write M1. If I have another force like this one, I will write M2. If I this one is AB and I want to write down this is F1, then is M1, is it AB bar? Correct? And if I want to write down F2, so this one is F2. 
point is D. Can I write F2 equals to M2 multiplied by C D1? Avoid this form. Avoid this form. This is vector quantity. Avoid this form. F1 equals to F1 into AB bar upon mod of AB bar. Don't use this. Rather than prefer this form. It's a quick calculation. And another thing. And suppose you multiplied by 2i plus 3j plus 5k. Suppose you solve this and you get your answer like this. And I want to find out modulus of this. So one way to modulus is that you multiply 40 inside. So if you multiply 40 inside, it's 80i plus 120j plus 200k plus 200k plus 200k. Or otherwise you can take out 40 common outside and you just take 2 square plus 3 square plus 5 square. Your answer will remain set. Your answer will remain set. This value is same as under root of 80 square. This one is 120 square plus 200 square. Well, let's check that it's not calcified. A vertical load of 1100 Newton. This load is 1100 Newton and is it acting downward? Is supported by three bar. One bar is AB, one bar is AC, and one bar is AD. Three bars. One bar is AB, one bar is AC, and one bar is AD. So point COD, point COD are in exact plane, while B is 5 meter above this plane. Right, let, let M1, M2, M3 are the force multiplier in the bar AB, AC and AD and let the corresponding forces are F1, F2 and F3. What is the coordinate of A? Coordinate of A is is it 0, comma, 20, comma, 0? Take a coordinate of B. First, you have to travel leftward 10, that is along x axis, so minus 10. Then you have to travel along y axis plus 5, and z coordinate is 0. Coordinate of C. This is lying on z axis is 0, comma, 0, comma, 10. Coordinate of D. For D, you have to st that is the 10 meter along x axis and then along this axis that equal to what? Negative of z. But y will be 0 and this is minus 10. And coordinate of point O is 0, 0, 0. That is a standard point. First is this force, this F1 bar. Right now, I have assumed my direction from B to A. So, F1 bar equal to M1. My direction assumption is B to A. So, I write BA. B to A. And if you assume A to B, then you write A to B is equals to M1. What is B to A? B to A means A minus B. 0 minus 10. 20 minus 5, 15k plus 0k. So F1 bar equals to 10 M1 I plus 15 M1 J. Even we are 0, we will write it 0 M1 K. Now similarly we copy down second force F2. F2 bar is directed from C to A. C, C to A. So this one is M2. C A bar. A minus C. A minus C. 0 minus 0. 20 minus 0. 0 minus 10. Minus 10 K. K. Compatible with F2? Now repeat the procedure for F3. F3 bar. First, where F3 is directed from D to A. So this one is M3. D A is A and D coordinate. So 0 minus 10. Is it minus 10? 
0 minus minus 10 plus 10k. We are getting F3 bar equals to minus 10 M3 I. I think this should be I. This one is I. Then this one is plus 20 M3 J plus 10 M3 K. Okay. And the last force is W bar. Is the W bar is acting in downward direction? So we will treat W bar equals to minus value. 1100. This is so is multiplied by unit vector equal to J. Is okay? And my system is concurrent force system. So what is the summation of F bar? Must equal to what? Zero. All forces must equal to zero. It means that sum of F1 bar plus F2 bar plus F3 bar plus W bar must equal to zero. Now start collecting coefficient of I first. What is I first? 10 M1. Second term is 0 M2. Third term is minus 10 M3. Is it I? I is over. Second term is J. 15 M1 plus 20 M2 plus 20 M2 plus 20 M3 and minus 1100 this total term is what? J. Agree? Now collect K terms. 0 M1 minus 10 M2 plus 10 M3 this one is K and all this quantity equal to 0 means 0 I plus 0 J plus 0 K equating the coefficients of I J K equating the coefficients of I J K we get equals to 0 M1 plus 20 M2 plus 20 M3 minus L1 equals to 0 and 0 M1 minus 10 M2 plus 10 M3 is also equals to 0 put this value M1, M2, M3 back in the original equation of F1, F2, F3 so what we get from this one M1 is 20 so this one is 200 I plus 20 into 15 is 300 J 0 K so this one so take out take out 200 square plus 300 square now repeat this procedure for F2 so we have 0 I M2 is also 20 so 20 into 20 is 400 J minus 200 K you can apply the same and find out mod of F2 under root of 400 square plus 200 square close to 447 for this also F3 will be written as minus 200 I and this one is 400J plus 200K and now you take the modulus of this one as under root of 200 square plus 400 square plus 200 square 489.99 and I suppose that is very close to 490